Welcome, friends. I am Arthur Perkins. This is AP Gaming Real. I'm joined once again by the cast of On the Tables Top for this show, On the Tables Top. Uh, things have happened. Some people may have been murdered. Some people may not have been murdered. Things may look dire. They may not look dire. What we do know is that a new team of heroes has come, not to save the party, but to uh, <laughs> deliver a list of charges to Mortric. How much money is on those charges? We'll see. We'll see. Speaking of Mortric, let's go ahead and introduce this person who's playing Mortric. Or isn't playing Mortric for the moment, I guess I should say. Yeah, I am, I am no longer Mortric. Well, temporarily no longer Mortric. I am Mick Byers. I am Mick Comiker, M-C-C-O-M-I-C-K-E-R on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. Those are really the only places that matter. And uh, I play an obnoxious bard who is so, so very close to my own personality that I genuinely feel bad about it. It's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a great look for me. <laughs> but it makes for great fan art. <laughs> look, I have to tell you, there's this very serious problem I have where, where people watch shows where I'm a player, not a character, and they're like, Arthur, you did such a good job playing a rich sociopath with a huge <laughs> amount of privilege. And I'm like, right. Okay. And then they're like, oh, man, I really love this other character you did. And I'm like, that's the exact same character description. <laughs> uh, so now when people see me about to go play a new game, they're like, oh, you're playing Ventru. And I'm like, uh, I don't know what that is, but it's probably a rich sociopath, right? <laughs> probably. So you gotta have your niche, you know. That's, that's I don't like it. that niche. I, I don't like it. Uh, so you can have it if you want. But I don't think Gilbert Godfrey was sort of sort of like, yeah, I want to be the guy with the super annoying voice. But hey, it worked out for him. I, would, I kind of feel like that is exactly what Gilbert. Godfrey I would not describe that voice as super. It look, it gives good comedic comedy relief, right? Uh, that's some good stuff. Not something you want to hear on the daily. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know, but. Yep. I kind of so, feel like we should have a Gilbert Gottfried theme night. We all have to try and talk in that voice. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> right, but I, I get to talk door. like Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be his parrot. Jafar! <laughs> <clears throat> you got anything else going on that you want to share? Um, you know, no I don't. All right, all right. Bearded. We had you That's as an artist last week. Your wonderful finished piece is on uh, all of the discords. Plus, it's now a part of the art roll. There it is right there. Look, you can yeah. just summon it. Oh. What do you got going on? Uh, I got a couple comics I'm working on still. So doing that, uh, streaming it on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And what else I got? I got commissions going. So if you guys want any D and D commissions, your characters, whatnot, I do a lot of that. So yeah, just you, staying busy. You actually just finished a commission for me the other day of this giant, yeah. man-sized rainbow salmon with spaghetti whiskers. True. It's got pizza sauce for its blood. When you cut it, it apart, you can make a full pasta out of its salmony body. Yep, and you can make a bowl out of its bones. That's canon now, 100%. It's definitely got at least one, like, bowl, smooth bowl. Right? At least. Uh-huh, yes. Fantastic. You got anything else going on? Um, no, that's about it. Connor, 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 Connor. Hey. The man, the myth, the legend. Some have said that. Some have said that. Hey everybody, um, yeah, I'm Connor Hughes, and um, I sometimes stream on Twitch, but I haven't been lately, but I'll be back soon, as I keep on saying every week, and I, I will make that soon. Uh, anything about me? Uh, nothing really, I'm just um, gearing up for some Kickstarters, I actually just saw that Pat Shand has a new one on Kickstarter, you should check it out for Destiny New York, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I did see that. And uh, then I'll also be doing a little commission for uh mm -hmm. section zero doing a little pinup for that and so keep an eye out for that for the kickstarter because that's happening soon as well so if you guys like uh, kickstarter comics Amazing. check them out interesting interesting 
Yes, sir. All right. Look, I know you're nervous, but it's time. Robert, why don't you tell us about yourself and all these uh, wonderful things you're already drawing, like this beautiful grainy texture we got going on in the background. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wing it as we go. I'm not quite sure if I'll finish any illustrations, but I'll just play by ear. Look, but there's I'm, literally no one anywhere that's like you have to finish everything you start before the stream ends or your character dies. That's the way I think, though. Yes. <laughs> and you guys set a high uh, high bar for me, but that's uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my moniker is Planet Chaos. Um, you can find me on Twitch. Um, I post all of my images on Instagram, so it's Planet Chaos underscore Art. My spiel is I draw a lot of Dungeons and Dragons monsters on Twitch. So if you like Dungeons and Dragon monsters, or if you want a commission of your D and D characters, your fantasy characters, come on by, take a look at what I've done before, and see if it's uh, the right fit for you. And uh, yes, I'll be drawing tonight. I'm going to attempt to draw the four um, new characters that we're going to be playing with tonight. Fantastic, because I actually don't know and anything about them. If he doesn't finish them, we all die by the end of the night. And that's yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so if it's a TPK, it's all on you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Make the wrong brush stroke, insta-death. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would, I mean, that for me, I'd literally just die immediately. <laughs> you guys walk into a bar and die. Let's talk about these temporary, hopefully temporary, new characters <laughs> that you're playing that are part of uh, a lone repayment squad. Comiker, I feel like we should start with you as the leader of this jazz band. Uh, why don't you, you know, freestyle some lyrics at me about these so wait, oh wait, wait let me what are what are the names we got going on here i have no idea i know nothing about these new characters right, so i'm udak and then connor is ibn grudge fist connor has himself muted and he no no but tell me tell me about your character what do they look like what do they do oh so uh i'm uh Dean of Reappropriations at a small uh, regional bard college. Uh, me and my fellow professors, you know, make sure that payments come in on time. I am a halfling orc. I take after my mother's side, so I look full orc. I'm just four feet tall. And I wear her old uh, chainmail uh, cooking apron as armor. That's reasonable. Uh, my character is Ibn uh, Grudgefist. He's a dwarf ranger. Uh, he's sort of just he's 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 sort of I guess you could think of him as the scout of the group. He tracked um, them here to this mountain. Uh, he is uh, proficient in in like mountain tracking. And he's sort of like uh, he's sort of doing this gig uh, on the side. Uh, mainly, he's trying to cover his expenses as he works on his brewing business. I'm sorry. Did you say broom business? A brewing business. He, uh, oh, brewing, he, brewing. He's sort of an I, amateur. I, he said broom, like what one would sweep with. And I was like, that's a weird twist that I've never heard before. Like, is this a witch manufactory, or you just like traditional broom making? He's, he's skilled in, in woodcraft. Uh, no, brew, brewing. So he's he's sort of a mead maker. Um, you know, he's sort of trying to launch that business on the side. But in the meantime, he's 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 collecting debts. That's how he knows how to do his thing. Part of his job, he probably does a little bit of brooming, but mostly. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you ever play the uh, MMO Rift? Nope. Oh, boy. Well, look, there's this guy that is a brewer in the game, one of the bosses. And when you show up, he's like, yes, welcome to my mead garden. Let us <laughs> sit and have a drink and then one of his underlings shows up and is like boss these are the guys that killed all your bees and he's like me <laughs> that's it that's awful. his whole stick that'd be awful yeah, well look he the thing is that that is like a daily mission that you have to do 
<laughs> so him screaming it's like a scream cry of me that you would listen to at least once a day Jesus. poor game yep. decisions there poor game so what, design what you're saying is don't kill any bees this session <laughs> <clears throat> who's next on introducing their new second character I can introduce mine uh, her name is Zahiri she is a tiefling warlock uh, she's five, six-ish, uh, both of her legs are, uh, cloven hooves at the bottom, and she has hair on the rest of it. The rest of it is just, like, kind of leathers and drapery of folding cloth, uh, and she carries on her a sickle, a short bow, and a dagger for protection. Interesting. Well, most of her skills are based off of her profession too, so you'll get to see that a little later. I mean, you're a warlock, right? Yeah. So, I mean, your primary skill is shooting Eldritch Blast every round <laughs> for all eternity. Spoilers. <laughs> Not that spoiler. <clears throat> Maybe getting in a hex occasionally or a yeah, witch maybe. bolt. That, listen, this is the thing about warlocks that I think most other people don't recognize, right? If you put a warlock on a horse and let them fire Eldritch Blasts all day long, everybody else is... Can, adventuring parties can fight for like two minutes max before they run out of abilities. They'll just be down to regularly attacking. They'll be out of spells, they'll be out of uh, hit dice, they'll be out of healing potions, they'll be out of everything in about two minutes. But a warlock... Can sit back and fire elders blast at 120 all day, feet baby. all, all day. day that is why warlocks are the only class that could functionally act as a soldier in an army everybody else is just like splashy shock troopers so what we should have done is we should have all just played the warlock, warlock squad uh -huh. <laughs> the warlock squad is well, here. All right. so when we roll new before, characters, before you roll the new characters you should know that warlocks suck at regular combat they really do uh, they have amazing out of combat abilities like the ability to read any language uh, and uh, stuff like that or paralyze people with their eyes but <sighs> Robert also pretty charismatic well yeah well you know not all of them but most most, most. Robert what do we got here is this a are you drawing the Goliath yeah, I'm drawing the glass. Excellent. He's a, little, he's a bit bow-legged, but I'm working on him. Okay, okay. Let's see. So I've got a Goliath Paladin. His name is Umbor Strong Shield Nakianu. So, but just call him Umbor. Um, you are the Brute he, Squad. He literally he never made a character with a middle name. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So he's he's the strong arm of the law. In pursuing... Um, What's your character's name? Mortrick. Mortrick. I wanted to say McCormick. You keep doing Mick everything. And I was like, wait a minute. So yeah, pursuing, but pursuing Mortrick because he's been convinced that Mortrick is a truly evil character. There's been rumors that Mortrick will stab defenseless dogs. Mortrick dog killer is what he's <laughs> called around campus. This, this, mm -hmm. paladin, this paladin is out for justice. I mean, as long as I have a reputation, it's not all bad. <laughs> they, had a petting, they had a petting zoo at his college it didn't go well <laughs> what is it they say uh there's no such thing as bad press <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> all right so <clears throat> in eternia okay you guys are the brute squad uh, quite literally, sent to bring Mortric back. As our regular characters uh, find themselves attempting to leap onto the back of this nameless Durigar. He throws his shoulders and arms back and roars and Mortric and Runa are both tossed back and hit their heads on the walls and kind of go into this weird hazy they're not dead they're not unconscious but they're also unable to stand up or act for a little while uh state cazador is still tied like a pig so no problem there 
Uh, he's not doing anything anytime soon. Your characters have burst into the room. For now, we will play these new characters if and until you either all die or kill the bad guy. If you all die, we'll switch back to your other characters and see if a last saving grace you can defeat this Duragar before he kills like eight people uh, in a very short amount of time. So just to be clear, it's not like I'm always going to be like, you guys live no matter what I say, right? Like you just, you're just going to live. Uh, however, I subscribe to a somewhat sadistic philosophy that it's better to keep a character, especially one that a character or that a player likes alive as long as they want to keep that character alive uh sure sometimes they'll just take too much damage and die instantly but most of the time it's better to just like take their stuff set their stuff on fire like cut some fingers off make their life horrible and then they can go get revenge for that stuff later which feels really good inside <laughs> <laughs> Something lesson I always learned from Hollywood movies: revenge always feels good. <laughs> Some have no, said that. The Punisher now it's great. It's great. Whoa, which season? Oh, yeah. Well, it's the second season. It's good. I mean, is it you know great? That, like, uh, what was it with Keanu Reeves? Oh, what was the name? The of that Matrix. Movie? The no, one where the he plays the, the one, baseball the coach. The one where somebody kills his dog. Oh, John right. Wick. John Wick. Yeah, John Wick. I feel like that's a little bit more of how this is going to play. <laughs> Especially with Mick around. <laughs> oh, except that means this Durgar guy is John Wick. Damn it. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Uh, <laughs> look, if oh. the Durgar is John Wick... Um, I actually can't comment on this. I haven't seen John Wick yet. I just know everybody thinks it's a really good movie. It's pretty good. I'm way behind good, on the times. Good fight scenes. It's entertaining. I mostly watch Marvel movies now. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I specifically watch Spider-Verse now. Exclusively. God damn that oh, movie. That's right. I was supposed to watch it this Holy Tuesday shit. and I forgot. The uh, best movie I've seen in the last... Oh, However many years I want to put in there. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. Really? Huh. It, just, yeah. it deserved all those medals it won. It really and like I am not a Spider-Man fan and I like just just wow. Just wow. Look, and like story aside, the animation there is unlike anything I've ever seen. There are really only three Spider-Man movies, so it's okay to not be a Spider-Man fan. <laughs> you know, there's the first Spider-Man movie, then there's the Marvel new Spider-Man movie, and now there's Spider-Verse. There have never been any other Spider-Man movies <laughs> ever. Are we ready uh, to save or die, I guess? Let's do it. The yes, thing that you're saving is yourselves, and the thing that you're dying is also yourself. Roll up our initiative first. Yeah, let's roll some initiative as you guys come in and kick down the door. Right. Your I squad imagine, assembles. Uh, I imagine the Goliath just like breaks his hammer through a wall. Who wants to be what player token? I mean, each of you should have control of one token oh, okay. from the new squad. Uh, I'll take the red one, I guess. Well, it sh should only be God, one that red. you can control. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, that is a great roll to start with. How does that yep. even happen? Uh, well, just for the folks at home, you rolled a one. <laughs> but I have an initiative. Starting off strong again. We're starting off where we left off. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, I should be a four. Oh, my God. Uh, the good news is I rolled a four, so. I also rolled a four. Uh, I'm seeing another one. <laughs> but I have an initiative of plus three. Shouldn't that Can add? I to... I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it there. Let's see here. Which one of these is Rena? It's got to be the one that isn't already on the list. Yeah, because huh? I don't there think you is. put a mod in there. Uh, plus... <laughs> you hit it with a zero. Oh, six there. Thank God it's only initiative and not an actual <laughs> something important. Uh, yeah, wow, these new shit seems a little... <laughs> it does say that your initiative total is three. It's so weird that it's not... Doing that. All right, well, uh, everybody sucks at rolling including the bad guys. The great news is 
Uh, whoever this character is. I don't know. We should probably get names in there. Probably. <clears throat> Shieldy guy. You're up first. Ibn. <laughs> Ibn. Hit me with some. All right. So uh, it's the current layout. That's... Yes, you have all bursted in in this formation. Uh, you see Cazador White Knuckle rolling around on the floor, covered in ropes. His hands are tied behind his back, and then he's hogtied <laughs> as well. You okay. see an unconscious Rick Jacks lying in a corner. Mortric has just been knocked back. Uh, all of you immediately recognize him because there are numerous pamphlets of his face that have been made, and he is, of course, your target. Uh, and there's this Duragar that's threatening all of them with its massive war pick. Uh, <laughs> it turns and sees you coming in and goes, huh? I want to say, like, as Mortrix's final action, when he recognizes the uh, reappropriation squad coming for him, he's going to lay down and play dead. All of you notice Mortrick pretending to lay down and play dead. He, it's like it's like wrestling. He goes, oh, and then he's like, oh shit, oh. that really bad. There he is, lads. We got him. I guess we could just pick him up now. All right. Um, a Duragar. <laughs> What have we stepped into here? <laughs> I guess is the first thing you'd say. Um, okay. Oh, what should I do? I mean, attack. Or just ask for more tricks. So, but shouldn't Runa be against the wall? Or I guess. Uh, well, she is pushed against a wall. Okay. Just not the. And right. you can't see Runa either. She's outside of your vision. So yeah. the north door is closed and the south door is open. So he. So we can't really see Mortric either. Uh, I mean, you can catch the edge of Mortric. Okay. Just a little bit. There he is. Just grab him. And what's the name of the... Uh, okay, uh, Duragar, drop him. We need him. <laughs> That's the first thing that they would do. You dare break into my fortress and give me orders? I, mean, I am the commander him. here. We've tracked, him. We've tracked him for days and days. He is my prey to play with. He's 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 no prey at all. Look at him. He's 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 half dead. He's only playing dead now. He has attempted to dishonor me. I will dismember him and use him in my employer's experiments. I assure you, it will be long, drawn out, and exceedingly painful before his death comes. He's worth more to us than he is to you. We're taking him. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. So all he does is like flip the pick in his hand and then like crack his neck and roll his shoulders if you boys, want boys, him boys. come and claim him let's do this <laughs> All right. boys can't we just borrow him and then bring him back I don't feel like we need to get into this again I mean yes we did break down his wall surely we have the gold to cover for it we can pull that out of the uh, what do they call that no. I whispered to the to the guys on the side. Look, we, we've stumbled onto a bandit fortress. We may make our double taking these guys out. I apologize for him. He's super into fighting. <laughs> it's time to it's time to make a move, Ibn. What do you want to do here? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go and I'm just debating whether I should shoot him or if I should try and unt untie Casador. Uh, You're like, should I help myself or should I help my other self? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even if you favorites. untie Kazdor, he will not join the immediate combat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna go over here. And, uh, yeah, and I can. Can I shoot him from here? Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah, two spaces in. All right. Yep. Uh, I need you to make a perception check real quick as you step there. All right. Um, he doesn't notice me playing dead. I have success. He has a, no, he, has he a definitely doesn't. Perception of 14, yeah. does that matter? Uh, no, because, I mean, passive perception matters way less when you're running into a crazy combat like this. All right. Okay. A moment before you put your foot down, you notice there's a thread of the tripwire to the pit that you're standing on. <laughs> you stop so, yourself. I stop and then step or... over it carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out, guys. This isn't this place isn't what it seems. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, all right. So I guess I'll shoot. 
Um, I'm gonna shoot with my crossbow it. or my longbow, I guess. Now, do I have to yeah. make any kind of uh, problem with that because I'm shooting over a person, over somebody, or anything like that? Nope. All right. Nope. I mean, yeah. she, he's lying on the ground. He's not. Oh shit. Okay. Nice. Right. Yeah. Uh. Well, this guy was a badass last week, and now he's just a dude that gets shot with a crossbow. Uh. <laughs> you, you haul your crossbow up. Thump, and the, the the Duragar looks like he's ready for it, right? And it hits his chainmail, and it doesn't penetrate. But you can see blood seeping out from where the wound hit, and his left arm is moving slower. You've definitely damaged some very serious muscles and probably given him a quite a bad bruise. Uh, and he grunts and goes... <laughs> <laughs> All right, blue guy with the knife, who I think is uh, our warlock. What's what's the warlock name? Uh, it is... Zahiri. Zahiri. All right. Hit me with your, your plan of attack. Or, you know, compromise. You could always just be like, okay, maybe we should stop, <laughs> collaborate, and listen. Uh, why do you always have to fight first? Can't we just be friends? And I cast friends. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Uh, all right. I mean, look up the spell here. It's definitely going to be a lot harder because you're in combat with yeah. him right now, which I think gives him advantage. But it hasn't been a while. Dang, I For well, the right? duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks. Blah, 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 when the spell ends, er, der, 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 creature prone to violence. Another creature might seek retribution. Does this not have a saving throw? Wow, I got. I guess I gotta look this up. Does friend D and D five e? It doesn't have a saving throw. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, it doesn't make him stop trying to murder your other friends. It does, as long as you're continuing to concentrate. It does give you advantage on charisma checks toward him. But if he's not hostile, I'm assuming he's hostile towards Oh, he's us. hostile, yeah. Yeah. He's not super hostile towards you yet, but he's just hostile in general. General. <laughs> okay. His uh, default mode of life is hostile. That's my action. And can I use a cantrip as a bonus action? Uh, Not unless you are a sorcerer with a quick spell. No. Nope. Uh, then unless the spell has a casting time of bonus action, the answer is no. Okay, that's my uh, that's my turn. All right, Zahiri. Uh, so this guy turns to look at you. He gives you that look that's like, hmm. You know, you get it sometimes as a tiefling where people are like, huh. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Not not what I'm normally into, but nice, nice. <laughs> Uh, in the process, he moves forward, closes the door, and then moves to the other door and opens it, <clears throat> shouldering his uh, war pick for a moment. He reaches over his back and pulls out a javelin and thro oh, shit. throws it at Ibn. Oh, shit. So what happens when you attack first. As an 18. <laughs> what do you got probably Me? less than an 18 yeah what do i have to do what's uh your what's your ac uh, probably my AC is 14 so yep. that's a no. uh you get hit for seven points of damage wow that's, wow. that's a lot of damage how you doing uh i got six so you're down uh well i'm down to six Oh, oh, you're down. You have 13 hit points? That's what it says in the sheet. Oh, my goodness. I took 14 constitution. Oh, so you have a plus two. And as a paladin, you start at 12 hit points? R Ranger. Ranger. Ranger, you start at D12? Interesting. I don't know. I'm just... In Ranger's D10. Yeah, Ranger's D10. Is it something Maybe. with Goliath or maybe? Or, no, Let me you're check uh, my sheet again. 
No, okay, he's the fourth. This sheet, I have 16 AC, actually. Wait, did I say that before? I you said know. 14, but <clears throat> it doesn't matter. 18 is higher than both of those numbers. Yeah, according to D&D Beyond, I'm 13. All right. All right. We'll have to break that down later. Either way, you get hit for about half of your current life. Yeah. Uh, this blow <laughs> would crush a normal human. A normal anything. Just a random plebe would have been skewered by this blow. For you, uh, it draws a bright line of blood from beneath your armor. <laughs> Luckily, I made starting your stuff. Uh, team yeah. people uh. going last. Which one of you would like to go last first? <laughs> um... Go ahead, Mick. You want me to go? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's at, is the door shut again? So which one of you is uh is me? I'm I'm this guy. Sword. You're this guy. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh and what is the name of your character? Udak. U D D A K. Nick. Okay, got it. You are ahead in the initiative order. Perfect. What would you like to do? The bottom door is closed. The top door is now open. Top door is open. I'm just going to go right there and engage. I have two. Like, do you... Can you make a perception check when you step there? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure that you can't do that? Because that just is an automatic fail, my dude. <sighs> yes. Oh, wow. I still got it. <clears throat> Uh, so I'm going to need you to do a thing where okay. you make a save of some kind. Uh, this even have a save? Intercept on a cover, really? Uh, no save. That doesn't sound right. It is a blah 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 blah. When it steps on a blah 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 blah. blah you just blah, killed blah. me, didn't you? I mean, didn't you kill yourself? He has a point. It is a DC. It is a dexterity save. And it is a 14. Dexterity. All right, Udak, you charge forward to deliver yes. justice. As you are one step away from dealing your blow, the floor cuts out from under you. You try to dodge to the side, and in the process, you put even more weight down on the floor. <laughs> your whole body is pulling your weapon down with you. You do, um, it's like playing Super Smash Brothers and missing a recovery <laughs> shot. You just drop like a rock to the bottom of a pit. Oh. <laughs> uh, you take. I thought I told you guys to watch out for traps. <laughs> I thought I told you not to fight. You take two points of damage as you land at the bottom of the pit. The Duragar above you spits into the pit. <laughs> they always fall for that one. All right, and so he's above me now? Yes, he's now 10 feet above you. So I probably can't hit him with my... So can I whip out my crossbow and take a shot? Yes. ka -chow! Yep. All right, so as you're falling, you're like, ah, you hit the ground. Ugh. You stand up, whip out your crossbow, and get a quick deflection shot. It hits the rim of the pit and then, like, slides up his armor and nicks him on the chin. And he's like, ah, three points of damage. All right, our last, our last <laughs> fighter here. What is your name and quest? Umbor. Umbor, that's right. Um, so, yeah, maybe. All right, so I'm going to go. Let's see, if I have a mall, does that give me extra range, or I still have to be five feet away? It's still only five foot reach. Okay. So I'm going to. You could to... throw it at him. Oh, that would be interesting. I don't have any other weapons, though. You'd have disadvantage. Yeah. But if it hits, so, it would be hilarious. All right, fine. You talk me into it. Really? So, <laughs> really? Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll go. That's I'll never go worked move. before. <laughs> I'll, move, I'll move right here and do a two-handed throw of the mall right at him. All right. Good luck. All right. Yeah, what could happen, right? 
Yeah. Uh, there's so much that could happen. Weapons <laughs> attack. You roll one, it's gonna land on Udak. Oh my god. He rolled a one! <laughs> <laughs> you toss it. Wait, but don't I get the, the, the bonus to go to that? Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't matter, right? A one is a one? A one is a one. Yeah. Udak, you get hit in the head for seven points of damage. <laughs> <That's> just sing. <laughs> just sing. Fails to clear the pit and then bounces off the walls on its way down and just bonks you in the head. And I took seven that time? Yes. Sorry, Udak. As a as a player who's played multiple sessions, don't ever listen to what the DM's trying to tell you to do. Yeah, that's all right. I will always lead you astray. <laughs> he will. <laughs> How you doing, Udak? You took uh, two points of damage and then seven more now. I'm down to three hit points. Oh my this goodness! This is why you don't take new guys out into the field. <laughs> <laughs> Ibn. Things have been epic if I made it, though. It would have been epic if you made it. Yeah. Things have, have turned turned uh, dire since my last turn. Yeah, bad to worst. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Yeah. Like, I mean, was gonna us. untie his old character, and then the two of them are just gonna leave the rest of us. All right. They have adventures on their own. Just, Wanna go get a beer? <laughs> I sure do love mead. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a thought. Maybe I mean I guess I could unlock the door and tie him. Yeah, or I could attack him. I mean he's got to be near dead. He's taking twelve points of damage. That's true. You would think. You would think. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock the board. Move forward. Unlock the door and yep. untie cast door. Be like. like <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he's, not, he's not. He's not. Uh, he's not. Unco he's not conscious, right? Ka Ka okay, so Casador is conscious, but now that he's gotten out of this uh, weird thing, he's like, "Oh, sorry, my muscles are all cramped. I've been like this for too long. Give me a second. And you see him like moving like a dolphin, flopping around on the floor, trying to get his <laughs> shoulders to work. <laughs> so does that count as my uh, my my action? That's your. That's part of your move. I feel like that's ten feet of movement. So you got 15 left. Okay, so then I can move here. <laughs> you can move there and attack him from around the corner. You yeah, can, can, you can duel him from my over the pit. I can use my spear. Yeah. Because I have both. Well, I think... with the longbow, you'll be at disadvantage because you're firing into melee range from melee. Okay. Can I move another square uh, left? Uh, yes. Yep. That'll work. That'll you work. have 30 okay. feet of movement, which is six squares. So every turn, you can move six squares total. Well, he had okay. to spend some movement to untie Kazdor. That's true. But, yeah, uh, so I could, I mean, I could use my spear. I mean, if it's, if it makes more sense. Yeah, you can just he stab him from right here. He can't reach me from around the corner. Can no, he? you both can reach each other. You're still in melee range with each other when you're there. Okay. You're like dueling back. over the pit, basically. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to move back. It's some Gandalf shit, you know? All right, <laughs> you move back. Longbow then? Yeah, longbow. Yeah, Show me the longbow. power of your rolls. No ones. Right. No uh -huh. ones. Or the arrow yeah. falls on Udak. <laughs> yes. Uh, you shoot this guy again. It lands solidly in his stomach. For anyone else in the world, this would probably be a fatal wound. But this guy's just like, ah! Snaps the arrow in half. And it's just like barbarian raging out. You could see the red in his eyes. The veins start popping out on his face. And he's just like, I'm getting tired of this. He's taking 20 points of damage. Yep, that's correct. About, uh, enemies is you don't know how many hit points they have. Uh, well, being shot in the gut is usually a pretty good indication his hit point level is quite low. Okay. Yeah. Zahiri, speaking of someone with low hit points. Just got shot in the gut. <laughs> is that him on Twitter? <laughs> Just got shot in the gut. That's Hashtag mercenary things. <laughs> has literally gone from bad to worse. I don't even know why I travel with you all. Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the fucking Durgar. So what do I have to roll? It is a uh, range attack roll using your dexterity and your proficiency. Yeah. Then you'll deal uh, 1d10 damage unless you've got any of those extra... Well, I have to roll to hit you first, right? Yes. Yep. Um, and then I add my spell attack to that. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, it might just be your spill attack. Oh! 20. Okay, oh. all right. <laughs> Look, the great news is, is you get to roll 2d10 now for damage. Why didn't you open with that? <laughs> yeah. I told you to go wait, my dude. Well, look, here's the thing. I had to pay extra on roll 20 to get the thing that lets me hack the roll dice. So, you know. <laughs> I just injected some script real quick. You know, every time I'm like, if you roll a one, something really bad happens. I just, you know, set it to a one real quick. I add to the it's kind of like what Mick was mentioning earlier, cheating at every every opportunity. Uh, so do you have the Warlock Pact ability that get, lets you add, like, your Charisma bonus to your Eldritch Blast? If not, your Eldritch Blast just deals D10 damage, and because it's a critical, you roll twice as many dice. No, I don't have it. All right, yet. yep, just 2D10. Okay. You could potentially have some very high damage. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> All right, that's a six and a nine for 15 damage. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what this magic looks like? How do you cast it? What's it look like when it incinerates this guy? Uh, it's like a purple flame almost, and it like swirls in a corkscrew and just kind of pushes him back a little bit. All right, yeah, it pushes him back into his desk. His armor, his weapon, his belt pouch all drop to the floor. There's a purple pile of ash that uh, is in between them. He just disappears. He's super dead. <laughs> Congratulations, you all switch to your other characters now. <laughs> now I get, I get team showing up. <clears throat> Can we pick up the person we came for now instead of whoever this dwarf is? <laughs> <laughs> so Ibn and Umbor help Udak out of the pit. Uh, and Udak moves to be in front of Mortric. Uh, it steps over Kazdor in the process. <clears throat> Who are you? Umbar, are you, our, are you the paladin? Yes. All right, so <clears throat> Udak says, Zahiri, bring the scroll. <clears throat> Umbar, heal that one. And that one there, as he points to Kazdor and Rickjacks. Uh, so Kazdor oh, and Rickjax each get. Kazdor. I don't think Kazdor had any damage from last time. Uh, okay, well then Rickjax gets five hit points and wakes up instantly. Yep. Uh, Zahiri moves toward a still playing dead Mortric and pulls out a scroll. <laughs> How did you make a charisma saving throw? Mortric. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I had 11. Can All I right. still get the, the heal or no? <laughs> Here's what's happening, Mortric. <clears throat> you have the option to fail this. You are being uh, impulsed by a Gios scroll. And that means... You will be forced to perform an activity or take a daily curse against you. So if I choose to fail... You will be forced to undertake that activity. If, if you succeed, succeed, who knows what these people will do to you. All right, so I fail daily activity. Yep. Succeed, they get to tell me what to do. Uh understand your rights as they've been told <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna succeed all right <clears throat> so zahiri just kind of shrugs uh and Udax just like more trick this is a very serious problem more trick i am as you know Udak, dean of reappropriations i'm gonna be like huh what? Where am I? I don't. Who am I? What's my name? I don't know. Who are these people? What's going on? Mortric, I'm going to give you an option here. We have one more scroll left. They're very expensive. And every one of these we have to use adds to your debt. Oh, it's Udak. Hello, Professor. How are you doing? <laughs> you know how magic works. <laughs> Zahiri is going to implant another Gios on you. If you choose not to accept it, we'll bring you back now. However, if you accept this Gios, 
you will be allowed to go out into the world and freely attempt to recover whatever money you need in order to cover your expenses. Yeah, I suppose so. All right. You get hit with another Gios scroll as Zahiri kind of smiles and reads the scroll in your face. <laughs> she actually hits you in the face with her tail, too. You gotta be so mean. You get a saving throw. Unless you'd like to choose to fail. Nah, I just fail this one. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, this time around... Just for Sahiri's knowledge, how much extra did the scroll he fucked up actually add onto his bill? 1,500 gold pieces. Cool. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so... Let's see here if I can get this working correctly. I tried to send it, but it did not... I'm going to try putting it in chat. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you are Giost. You owe 3,949 gold pieces. Uh, you have 29 days to discharge payment. Jesus. As long as you attempt every day to find some way to pay back that money, the curse of the Giost will not kick in. If you fail to do so, on the 30th day, you must present yourself to an official for remedial labor in Eternia until your debt is paid. <laughs> that's amazing that sounds just like college just to be clear 3,949 pieces is enough to buy like a large castle <laughs> it would be enough to buy like an 11th level magic item or a very rare sword Sure, guys, won't be a problem. I was working on something just to... We had all, a situation. Their whole team is already leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I don't want to have to see you again, more trick. Pay your debts. Hopefully you won't. And I'm going to turn to my current team and be like, listen, guys, noon, the final day. Um, just go ahead and just, you know, and make it make it quick. But just but 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 you know what to do, right? I don't have to say it. We we know what I'm talking about here. Do you have to pay back the entire sum? I have no idea what you talk about ever. <laughs> um, can I borrow a couple of gold pieces? No. I do. I look like I have gold. Do you have any like copper? Anything? I mean, like just just anything. Every little bit helps. Assuming you get a pass for today, but I didn't read the fine print. Weren't you one that the one that put the the jammed the door before that allowed the door guard to come in? He yeah, must have up on us. He must have another way to get in there. You don't know what these tunnels look like, what these caves look like. I that door was jammed. All right? I heard you. I heard the door jam. I didn't think it sounded right. Something was up with that jam. Uh -huh. Well, then you should have looked at it. So that's clearly on you. So thanks for letting him sneak up on us. Yeah. All I can tell you is that he wasn't there one minute or one second, and then the next second he was. And it's those nice. guys Talk are about. sneaky. Can we continue? Well, I'd yeah, I suppose I'd we like better. to get out of whatever the hell this room is. And this pile of purple whatever is starting to smell. <laughs> what's on what's, what's i'm gonna loot the body i need some money oh fantastic yes you do uh well let me tell you 1500 gold that is <laughs> yes. that is incorrect uh <laughs> you find a uh a war pick of course two javelins uh two gold pieces uh 200 silver pieces uh and a huge number of documents in dwarven in the belt pouch I'm going to shove the documents at Casador and be like, you know what this is about? Mm, I quickly scan the documents. Should I do a perception check or something? Uh, no. Okay. So have you ever read Mein Kampf? No. <laughs> Me? No. Yes. <laughs> All right. Imagine a uh, manifesto uh written by a megalomaniac with uh ideals that one day he'll rule the entire underworld if only he could just organize everyone properly 
Uh, this guy sounds like he played Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, yeah. He. This is like an evil Dwarf Fortress player who's every page is like a journal entry indicating his in his problems training uh, humans, halflings, but especially goblins. This guy just hates goblins. He keeps hiring them because they're cheap and easy to train, but then they die and you have to train a new one to do the same thing the old one did. <laughs> I think this guy This covers 200 years of this guy complaining <laughs> about this shit. Holy crap, we did not know who we were taking on here, fellas. This guy was insane. <laughs> and apparently the least interesting part about our day here. Sorry? Shall we? All right, so what what are we actually here for because I need to stop by a uh you know, post office drop box on the way back to town and get this check in the mail. We have 29 days. Is that what I heard? Yes, he has 29 days to pay his debts. To pay the entire sum. Yep. But Fine. I have to attempt to pay it every day, right? No, no, no. You you have to attempt to make money every day. Oh, okay, okay. You can't just be like, oh, man, today I'm going to go relax in the sun. <laughs> or, like, you physically cannot be like, I'm going to run away from this problem, right? Like, you cannot attempt to... Well, you can attempt to do that. However, uh, the <laughs> Gios will kick in, and let's see what horrible bad thing happens to you when you fight the Gios. Uh, da, 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 da. You are charmed. You take 5d10 psychic damage each time you act in a manner Jesus. directly countered. Your, you will instantly kill yourself, basically, if you attempt to go against the Gius. <laughs> so I hope you don't feel like taking a day's vacation at Coco Cabana. Which is very you. <laughs> all right, guys, we gotta. All right, we gotta get moving. We got. We got bills to pay. What are we here for? Let's find it. I got. I got one thing. Now we do have a magic item. Is there any way for us to figure out what that magic item is? If someone has the spell identify. I have the spell identify. Fantastic um so are we in his den are we in his like this is where and we... runa has left and it very <laughs> impatiently wandering around in the next room you the rest of you are in his den yeah uh, it would be more more correct to say his office yeah you know I mean, there's not I like wanna, a bed in here or anything i want to search the rest of the office excellent make a investigation check what are you looking for um well clearly just more money something of value that i can convert into dollar dollar bills you okay 21 as you look around you remember uh easily because they're all around you uh he has rugs up on the walls uh he's got nice carpeting down he's got excellent like beanbag chairs and regular chairs this stuff weighs a lot Right? Like, you could grab, like, four of the rugs, and it would probably be, like, 50 pounds. But they're nice rugs. Uh, they seem like mushroom fiber weave. Someone has definitely processed some underdark stuff. It's kind of rare on the surface to see this kind of rug work. You're not really sure how much each of them is worth, but it's, at the very least, if it's, it's equivalent to a regular rug, right? You're looking at a lot of material here. There's easily 30 rugs uh, and, like, two tiles worth of carpet. I don't know what that is. It was a separating mail from. All right, all right. So I'm gonna make a note of that. I'm gonna look at everyone else on the team. Be like, these are mine. All right. I saw them first. These are mine. Uh, I'm gonna need your help moving them though. They look pretty heavy. Ah, ah, ah. I, take, I take I take half of whatever I I carry. <laughs> uh, what about uh, eighty twenty? No. You're not in a position to negotiate. <laughs> right, well, you know what? Let's not put a press on this friendship right now. Let's <laughs> just, we'll just shelve this. We have to go get the wagon first anyway, and then we'll come back and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it all figured There's out. There's no way the wagon will fit inside this cavern. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to manually haul them, like, several hundred feet outside to the wagon. But we just don't have the wagon here yet, do we? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. No, you can go get the wagon, but you still yeah. have a you have a walk, you know, a distance. Yeah, that's like definitely time. less than a quarter mile. But this is some heavy ass shit. 
Yes, Bruno, you, you're look you're getting closer and closer to this door. Yeah, I want I want to check it out. All right, and then the well, door. I want to do an investigation uh, or of some kind to see if there's any history about the mountain itself, specifically what I'm interested in, uh, to see if this guy has any kind of knowledge about what this lost you know hold is. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, make an investigation check on those documents you're holding. Sure. Uh, Runa, there is a plate on this door. It's brass, and it has dwarven runes etched into it. The door handle uh, has a big X carved into the wall behind it. So, like, imagine just a regular door handle, and then someone on the door has carved an X leading to the door handle. 18. <clears throat> There is some information about this particular hold. Uh, they don't know, the this particular dwarf didn't know the name of the king, but it did know that he is the second dwarven high king to have ever lived. He is the son of the first high king. Oh, okay. So this is an ancient hold. Yes, this is, this is extremely ancient. And I check for traps on the door. Excellent. What's important about this hold is that this dwarf made... So back when dwarves came into existence, right? There were only mountain dwarves when dwarf kind started. There weren't hill dwarves yet. And they had never seen the sun before. And so this dwarf, the second dwarven high king, made like a drive to the surface. He thought that something might exist if he just kept going up. Like, they'd gone down, and it just kept getting warmer, so when they go up, it keeps getting colder. And he thought he might one day find, like, the coldest place ever. And mm. instead, he broke to the surface and found the sky and crafted this grand temple to himself, saying that all that I survey is mine and will always be mine and of the dwarves. Uh, it seems like my kind of chap. Yeah, I mean, he's like the Ozymandias of uh, dwarven <laughs> <God>. surface construction. <laughs> and so his lineage, as documented by this Duragar, who may not be a trustworthy source, uh, his lineage would go on to become the first hill dwarves. Hmm. From this okay. land, they would spread out across the world. All right, you are looking for traps. Make a investigation. Oh, I'm curious how you investigate. Is it is it very tactile? Like you feel things? Do you stand and watch for a while, looking at airflows? You're tapping. Probably stand and watch for a while, like poke things. Plus investigation plus one. That's not very good. It's not very good either. This door seems very safe. You guarantee. That nothing will happen if you open this door. I open it. Very well. Inside, yeah. there is a uh, piece of plate mail that has been hung up on like a mannequin hanger. It's a pretty large room, and that's the only thing in there. Uh, along the floor, there are like sword scuffs. There's lots of footmarks that indicate that people probably like did some training and fighting in here. There's blood splashes along the walls. All right, all right. Uh, does the armor look magical at all? It's not like glowing or anything. Okay. It, it doesn't have like any gems or anything like that. It's just a, a simple but functional steel full plate. Uh, I'm gonna call Kazador over. Okay. Just, just, uh, Kaz, uh, I think there's something you should look at over here. What's up? Oh, uh, yes, this looks good. This looks like dwarven craft, perhaps? Dwarven craft work here. Yeah. Um, you know, I, t I inspected, I guess I'm gonna do uh, a perception on it or inspection. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, uh, so just real quick, what's your armor class, Kazador? My, uh, wait. I, I like uh, my current equipped armor class. Is yep. that what that is? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I oh, yes. Yeah. That's 18. Gonna hit. All right. You move towards this full plate set, 
and you're just like oh this looks very good it's perfectly sized for a dwarf i mean it'd take a little refitting to get on you and then the thing reaches out and starts choking you <laughs> <laughs> okay I, I, mean, I guess i'm gonna try and push it push away against it uh you take four points of damage oh man okay I'm going to yell from the other room. Don't break anything. I need to be able to sell it when we're done. The armor um, steps away from the mannequin. It's on, and let's roll initiative. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> That's why the X was on there. So that, that that heal that happened earlier, that did happen, right? Yeah. You got okay. five points, and so did Rick Jacks. All right. So now I have max, and I'm and down to nine. <laughs> Okay, Rick Jacks, what's been going on with you, by the way? We haven't heard a lot about you since you woke up. You look like you're maybe hanging back here with Mortric looking at some rugs. I think I'm <laughs> stunned. I, I, I missed it. Did we figure out what that magic item was? Uh no. Uh let's cut to let's get everybody's initiative in and then I will tell you what that magic item is. <clears throat> All right. All right. I didn't ever identify it because I was too busy investigating the room. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, Rick Jacks is like every few seconds he's like at your elbow, just like, do you identify it yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, Rick Jacks rolled so high. Man, I'm not gonna be able to choke slam anymore. Hazardors, huh? I got a 21. Yeah, it's me. I'm the one who's sucking right now. I'm literally in last place. We got the same score. I know, but I'm going last. Rick Jacks, you hear Cazador go... <laughs> it definitely doesn't sound natural. You know, he's like 30 or 40 feet away from you, but it's a very loud choking noise. Wow. Okay, so I'll look at more trick. Did you check the magic item? No, I'm kidding. Let's see. So <laughs> I can move six squares. That, I'll take care of this. One, two, three, four. Can I jump over this trap? Which trap? Uh, that northern door. Yes, the you can jump over it. Yeah. Uh, it will take you 10 feet of movement to get over it, though. Okay, so five, six. So it sounds like that's as far as I can get anyway, right? Yep. And all right. You can dash if you want to move further. It'll just take your action. And okay. Yeah, might as well. So I'll dash to here then because I wasn't going to be able to attack anyway. All right. Crossbow's out. So I guess I'll wait till next round. Runa, Rick Jack slides in behind you with the crossbow, breathing heavily as he's run across the room immediately. Uh, I'm just going to super punch, Superman punch the armor to try to get it off of Kaz. You moving into the room with it? Sure. Excellent. Da -dun -dun -da -dun. I mean, I'm assuming I can punch over him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could probably punch down because we're both dwarves. Uh, yep. I'm an, not. No, I mean, uh, the, oh, the, the armor is dwarven, so it's dwarf height. So you can yep. basically punch down over. So the you can you can move into one of the side spaces. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can't move myself. There we go. And I punch him. Uh, what is my unarm strike plus four? Oof. Uh, it goes as well as you would expect, punching a piece yeah. of uh, solid metal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't roll a one, right? You don't stop yeah. and do that. But, you know, you're just you're just punching this thing and you don't know where to punch or what to punch. It's literally just a walking piece of armor. There's nothing inside of it. Uh, Mortric, things seem to be going poorly for your companions. There's a lot of banging noises, not a lot of uh, success noises. Like, ah, I stabbed it. Um, I'm gonna... Yell out and ask, how are, how are things going in there? There's a lot, a lot of gold. <laughs> oh, shit. So I was getting ready to cast Identify. So whatever it is, Rick Jacks, what did you, what is the item? It was the rose in the crystal. Yes. Right. So I'm just going to shove those in my bag and I'll, and it's, 10 feet well it was in glass so let me ask how hard are you shoving this oh, thing in your it's bag? glass yes i'm gonna set it down on the desk all right 
set everything down on the desk. You're and like, then, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> possibly break any magic 10, items. 10, 20, and then 30 to get over it? Yep. Alright, and then... I'll... Dash... Swoosh. Swoosh. Get there. I'll see that it's somewhere. We're like, don't scratch it! It's gonna ruin the resale value! And then I'm out. Ah, wait, ah, wait. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna give uh Kaz though some inspiration. That is my inspirational speech to Kaz. Don't yeah. scratch it. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Alright, well Kazador, you uh I don't know if you feel inspired, but technically you I guess you kind of are. Well, uh, how about, am I can I can I be inspired to reference back to that scroll and try and think about appealing to this armor? and like maybe calling out the name of this second son of the first high, the second second son uh yeah first the second dwarf and high king can you <laughs> yeah. can you make a uh i don't know do they have an arcana check in this game yeah there's got to be something yeah, it's like it's called that. arcana arcana make an arcana yeah. check real quick shit i mean i definitely don't have that skill well look Every, it, you have all the skills. You're just not proficient in all of yes. them. Yes. Here's the thing. This roll can't go bad for you. Okay. You're already at a point of failure. The question is, can it go better? All right. <clears throat> you haven't encountered anything like this, but you suspect it's a construct. Oh. And it is probably not intelligent. Negotiating with it will be nearly impossible. Okay. Uh, these things are created to, like, defend a location, which, is, which seems to be exactly what it's doing. Okay. So am I still in its grasp, or...? Uh, well, that was just temporary, right? Like, you pulled yourself back now. Okay, all right. So, and does that count as my action? The nope. speech? No. Nope. Okay. Nope, so that just, guess... that's just brain stuff that happens real quick. Okay. Like, if I asked you what your favorite type of cheese is, you'd probably come up with the name of a cheese pretty quickly. <laughs> I can, I can, I can uh, prevaricate on no, those right. kinds of questions for a long time. Gouda, <laughs> mozzarella, brie? Good is pretty good, yeah. Put, yeah. You put some cheese up on your toothpaste when you're brushing your teeth, because you're a cheese-loving <laughs> fellow. Well, who isn't, right? Um, okay. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, I got a Warhammer at least, so that's, that's good. Um, I mean, I'm going to attack it. That's true. You do have that thing that you have. Yeah. Show yeah. me the power of these dice rolls. Is it as a can opener? Okay. You slam down into this thing. There's a donking noise. I wouldn't <laughs> say a denting noise, but it goes, it's... Koosh. Six right. points of damage. Nice. And I got my shield up. I'm ready. All right, I'm done, I guess. Uh, well, it's not done. Yeah, yeah. Runa, as you enter, it immediately, the head of the thing turns to track you. It's still fighting Kazdor the whole time, but the helm turns to track you. And as soon as it sees an opening, it lunges towards you. What is your armor class? 15. Well, <clears throat> it tries to get a grasp on you and misses. But then as you keep fighting and punching at it, it waits until it like gets your hand in its grasp and then like crunches down on your hand real quick. It looks super badass for you though, right? Like you're you're fighting the whole time, like doing some really <laughs> sick punches, some quick combinations, but then at some point it just does the bad guy thing where it's got you. Five points of damage. Nani? 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 What the she? Rick Jacks. You can see this thing holding Runa's hand, crunching down on it. It's a construct, though. Mm. All right. One, two, so, three. Listen, some of my best friends are constructs. <laughs> hey, hey, ba doom boom. He's All right, so back there like it's a construct, though. Am I able to drop a weapon, move forward, and attack with my swords? Yep. If, okay. If you're worried about sneak attack or anything like that, you can sneak attack everything in this game. It's not like Pathfinder or the other D and Ds. You can sneak attack attack constructs. You can sneak attack anything. Okay. Instead and... of being like hitting a vital organ, sneak attack is now uh, when you stab somebody, you stab them harder than normal all right so i'll just i'll just do because i can do the sneak attack now because he's in the square next to runa right uh and kazdor yeah you can you can go ahead all and right. so shoot the crossbow back here 
Yeah. Sneak attack. You All fire right. over Mortric, over the Kaz door. Well, I yeah, guess you yeah, fire yeah. under Mortric and over Kaz door. Oof. No. Uh, no. The bolt nope, nope. hits one okay. of the rounded parts of the armor and just deflects off, dealing yeah. no damage. Okay, dokie. Runa, it's your time to shine. Show me some criticals again. I want. It, can I? Is he released his grasp on my hand? Yes. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of get behind him and see if I can vault push him out the door. Like with my legs, just kind of push off the wall and push him through the door. All right, I will let you do this, but it's a disadvantage because it has to go through Kaz's door as well. Okay. All right. Good luck. Uh, he opposes with his athletics, which is a zero, so good luck. Plus two. Uh, that is, uh, hold on, I didn't roll that. But yours is at disadvantage, so you have to roll oh, again. That's right. Fuck. All you have to do is roll higher than a 15, though. That's all. Nope. Oh. It looks like you're gonna get it. You get, you get behind it. You start wedging your feet in there to push it forward. And then it, like, bumps up against Kazdor and just holds itself there by, like, giving Kazdor a hug. And you're, like, trying to kick it around. You're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Your whole body's extended like a like a jackhammer trying to push it out. And it's not going anywhere. It's just, yeah, this Kool-Aid man's on the Kazdor. Yeah. <laughs> Kazdor, help me push. <clears throat> More trick. His turn? Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. that's the whole thing. I like seeing what Runa is trying to do and Kazdor just kind of sailing around like a bump on a log. Can I, like, grab the back of him and, like, try to pull him through the door? Do you allow that, Kazdor? Uh, <laughs> begrudgingly. <laughs> okay. You can, you can drag Kazdor up to half of your movement speed's worth of distance. Don't tell the elf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, so because you have to move forward, so you can drag him two there. spaces with you. Yes, and then I'll just go like that because Rick Jax is in the way. All right, you drag him back to here. Yeah. All right, Castor, you're like ha ha as you get dragged backwards. Yeah, I mean, so he's, so I thought I thought you bring the could... armor with you. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't. Yeah, I I'll, I'll let you try out. to do that. If you want to bring the armor with you, you can make an athletics check right now. No okay. disadvantage to like haul it with you. All right, I'll do that. You're basically yes, getting advantage from Runa kicking yeah. it forward. Yeah. Which cancels out with the disadvantage, so it's just a normal roll. A 12. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's see if terrible. I can beat that. Uh, I do. I get a 13. Oh. So close. You, you you try to hold on to him, but uh, it lets parts of its armor slip and fall to the ground, and then it comes back up and reforms onto it. Ugh. So you're like holding onto its gauntlets. Its yeah. gauntlets just pop off its hands, and you're like, huh? And, and then the, the gauntlets whoop. pop. Like, don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> Conflicting uh, messages here, guys. So you guys still move. You guys get you get dragged away. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right away. The two of you okay. are both trying. You just can't can't make it happen. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, dash forward, and I don't know. Can I? Is it smart to sort of ta try and tackle him to the ground, or? <clears throat> I mean, you've used your action to, to try to drag him. Okay. All right. So I'm done. You you reengage. I mean, you can you can still move back forward as part of your movement. Mm -hmm. uh, but you won't be able to tackle him again. Yet. Uh, I'll stand. Here. Oh, yep. I just closed all of my tabs all at once. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. One. Yep. Uh, uh, this game is over. Yep. Oh I think we just. Uh, there, there I think we beat D&D, &D, guys. <laughs> my bad. Sorry, folks at home. I played D&D &D and it was advanced. <laughs> it was advanced? <laughs> Is that from Community? I don't know. I don't know either. All right. <clears throat> Bruno, you're getting punched. Good, uh, Planet Chaos. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's coming together. Yeah. I like this like I'm, I'm double color thing you got going on. Yeah, he's got I'm a blue light thing. 
Well, Runa, you're you're about to get taken to Pound Town. Uh, yeah. I hope you got lots of HP right now, because you're about to lose a bunch. <laughs> when does this party ever run low on HP? <laughs> Level 1 people have a lot of HP. Uh, the first hit hits you for 5 points of damage. You still up? Nope. Alright. <clears throat> well then, Kazder, I have bad news for you. As Runa goes down, this thing steps forward and critical hits you. What? Yep. How's, how does that work? I already rolled the die. Yeah, but... Okay. He gets, he gets two what you, you want me to do a critical hit on Runa? You want me to punch the person who's down and dying? Alright, alright, fine. <laughs> it's only in it to save Well, does that, so that mean that, that's already gotten past my AC? Is that how that works? Oh, yeah. I mean, a 24 oh, would get past your AC anyway, but a 20 automatically hits. Wow. Okay, 13 points of damage. <laughs> this okay. armor just double jackhammers you know, into your gut. Like, oh, shit. I just want to say, if you don't want to DM for us, you could just tell us. <laughs> 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 elaborate plots. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm, uh, that means I'm negative. I swear to God, I'm not trying to intentionally murder all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's what all good DMs say. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm at negative four. <laughs> All right, you fall over unconscious. Rick Jacks, things are getting kind of bad. What you notice, however, is that the armor stops at the door. It only punches Kazdor, and as Kazdor falls back, it like moves forward to grab him, and then at the door frame stops. Hmm. And we got two people down. You do. Oh, I'm like freaking frack. It's not my name. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could drag me away from the door frame. <laughs> well, maybe I hey, could. you're out, aren't you? <laughs> you don't let me talk. <laughs> I would hate to leave. Well, maybe he won't attack Runa because Runa's down already. Does it look like when they go down, it kind of loses interest? Yes, that is exactly what it looks like. Okay. And Mortric is outside? Mortric yeah. is outside. So I can delay my action to see what this thing does. So delaying your action in fifth edition, um, you won't be able to move. You'll be able to take an action like shoot it or pull something out or uh, something like that, but you won't be able to like take your full turn later on. Okay. So we have a movement and action and a bonus action. If yes. you're saving your, you're only saving your action, not your movement or your bonus. You lose those if you hold it. Yes. You also, ha in order to activate your action, you have to use your reaction, which means no stabbing people if they walk past you or anything like that, or no sweet tiefling life when you hellish rebuke people. All right. So I am going to walk up and, and pull Kazador back. Okay. Yeah. You drag Kazador out of the combat radius. Would you like to attempt to, uh, I wouldn't say revive, but keep him from bleeding out and dying from, I mean, he has some very serious uh, bruises that are forming almost Around immediately his... from these gauntlet sized fists that have hammered into him. And around his neck. All right. No, so, he'll, he'll be fine there. I mean, you know, yeah, dwarves have very yeah. thick necks. Here comes, I'm, I'm only got uh, uh, 10, but let's see what I roll. That is not enough, because you need 10. Nope. Yeah, you try to patch up Kaz door, it's not going down. Runa, I need you to make your first death saving throw. Let's do it. Crap, crap. Yeah! All right, you're one of three. More trick. Success. Things nice. are happening. I'm gonna saunter over to the door, but okay. I'm not gonna cross the threshold. All right, understood. I'm gonna look in. I'm gonna look out. It's like a mime. I'm gonna try and figure out if like only three cuts of whatever loot we have in here is worth it or if I'd be <laughs> worth share. Well, this thing is taking like no damage at all. I, like I've just been going, I don't have anything in my, sp I'm assuming, I'm just going to assume that I can't put it to sleep. I used one of those. Can I? No, I guess I can't give inspiration to someone who's out to use on a death saving throw, can I? I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Works for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, don't worry, Rina, you're gonna pull through this fine and give her my last inspiration. Okay. Um. 
looking at this room. Nice things you've done is give inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Look, when say, he's hey, not giving inspiration, bad things happen. So let I'm him have say, this. Hey, Rick Jacks, help me get one of these rugs. Uh, I have no yeah. idea what your plan is, but I'm super invested right now. Casdor, <laughs> <clears throat> I need you to make your first death saving throw. All right, what's that? Uh, you roll d20. Nice. On a 10 plus, you build one of three towards coming uh, alive. And on a nine minus, uh, you go towards death. You're taking one step towards death. No big deal. That's It's just a thing that happens. Occasionally you die. Uh, this thing steps back, resumes its post, and begins rebuilding the mannequin that it had put itself on. So it's like standing with the mannequin's base between its legs and like taking off pieces of its armor, putting the mannequin in there, and then shutting it again. Rickjacks. Uh, Mortric, I think we need to stabilize him first. What do you think? Uh, you're probably right. All right, let's. Oh, oh here comes okay. my roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, the beautiful twenty is on the wrong side of that advantage. Yep. <clears throat> you you keep trying to put bandages down on Kazdor, but you already have bandages down there, and it's still. This is like a big pile of... I can't stop the blood. <laughs> dirty cloths backing up. Uh, Runa. Death saving throw. All right, you're one and one. Can she use her... Uh, she'd have to roll a four, though. Or what is, is it four right now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, she could... She, all no, she needs D6. is a three. Okay, I can... D6? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Try to turn failure into success. Go. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Yeah, the right. six will do that. The six will give you exactly what you want, which you really, really want. You're you're two positive saves. Mortric, you are looking for a rug. All right, I'm gonna come over and try and help stabilize Kaz first. All right. So that's that, a medicine check. It is. I know you're invested in the rug, but his plan's just gonna be grab the rug and go. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be better if we like worked up and like gave one of us advantage? Uh, almost certainly, that would be a great idea. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give Rick Jack's advantage on his next roll. Okay. Kazdor, uh, if you roll a one on this roll, that's it. You're done, Kaput. You're just dead. Oh man. Nice. You have one success. <laughs> This thing continues reassembling itself. Rick Jacks. All right, now when you guys, well, all right, one thing at a time. All right, so here we you go. You have advantage from Mortric. He's working together with you. Unfortunately, <laughs> even with advantage. <laughs> two of you working together. A seven and a two. Look. I am the worst dice roller I've ever seen. Here's the thing. When you roll enough dice, eventually you see everything. Yeah. I mean, I've seen five twenties in a row. Shit is incredible. Uh, I've seen three twenties in a row, and I've also seen three ones in a row. Oh, that's super painful. That's real bad. Oh, what's the odds on that? Like one in eight thousand or something like that. Oh. I myself have have rolled at disadvantage and gotten two ones. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So look, uh, the two of you working together. It's not that you're you're outrightly incompetent, but you're both getting in each other's way, and Rick Jacks keeps piling bandages up, and Mortric is just, just like, we have to stop the blood. <laughs> so he's like pulling the bandages away, and like, all right, let's get a fire poker and sear it close. <laughs> Rick Jacks keeps piling the bandages back on top. It's not that either of you don't know what you're doing, it's that you're both doing different things to get the same objective and interfering. Runa, if you can nail a 20 on this, you're coming back up. Let's do it. Oh! It's a 19. It's like a 20. It's like a 20, but slightly worse. <laughs> Why don't you roll d d4 to see how many hours it'll be before you wake up? I feel like I'm rolling this way too many times. Yes, yes, you are the one who, you are the tank of this party, which is weird wow. to have the monk tank. Yeah, especially with an AC of uh, 18 for our shielded dwarf. I thought oh. the shielded, is that what you're at? You're at 18 now? Oh, 
like 15 or something. 15? Yeah, I'm, I'm at 8. 18, I think. Well, Runa, the good news is that in an hour you'll be awake just long enough for this thing to punch you back. <laughs> By that time, we should have the rug situation handled. <laughs> Mort Mortric. <laughs> what do you got going on, Mortric? All right, so we're still trying to save freaking Kazdor because Kazdor won't do any of the work himself. <laughs> All right. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm getting my fire poker out. I'm rolling my medicine check. <laughs> okay, well let me tell you something. You seal that gut wound real close. Casdor, uh, why, why don't you roll a d4 to see how many hours until you wake up with a uh, crispy stomach? <laughs> okay, it'll be a little while. Yeah. Uh, Rick Jacks. What's the plan? Runa looks like she's moving again in the next room. Uh, at the very least, you can see that she's breathing. Okay. Um, I want to ask more trick. No, he wasn't here. Is, and everyone's asleep. Okay, so if 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 I step into that room, is that thing going to activate, or is it only when you go you have and touch no it? idea? Damn it. Uh, I don't know. Can I hide from a construct? Can you? A thief? Can a thief hide in shadows or whatever from a construct? Yeah. I know it seems. You have no it. idea. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, let's find out. So, where is that one? Stealth. So I got a fifteen. No, I'm proficient. Ooh, nice. Fourteen okay. plus five. Not bad. Okay. So I will attempt to stealthily <laughs> and see if now is my time to get a good roll. There's not the a lot to stealth with in here. I mean, you're just walking in the open. It doesn't immediately move towards you. You know, it's a game mechanic, right? It right. doesn't immediately move towards him. You go down to uh, stabilize Runa, but she's already good. Uh, when you get down there, you, you're like putting some arrowroot in her mouth to help coagulate the bleeding, and you're like, oh, no, no, she's good. She's good. I missed it. When did she stabilize? Uh, she when stabilized on her own, on her turn. Yeah, yeah on her last turn, yeah. Uh, that's all right. So is the construct paying attention to me? We'll see on its turn. More trick. Uh, excellent. I'm gonna say no. We need to throw a rug but, on it. So but it don't I have move. Wait, don't I have additional move? Uh, yeah, yes, you do. Turn. Okay, so I'll move back out of the room. Okay. Right. Leaving so. Runa inside. Yep. Wait, could you have just drag? Uh, so you can't get that far. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you end up at the door. Right, right you there. can stand right. on the other side of the door frame away from this armor if you'd like. Okay. More trick. Whoops. He goes into the door, doesn't look like anything happened. Everything will probably be fine. Hmm. Nothing happened while he was in there. Oh, but I've only got three hit points. Don't. Yep. I've got five, so if you want to wait, I'll go in and try to drag Runa out. So, more trick. At this point, your mind flashes back to Bardic College. <laughs> there are many schools of bards. Whispers, secrets, lore. But everyone has to take Hero 101. It's the first class, even before you take Bardic Ethics. You take Hero 101 on the first day. And you remember your professor saying, Now remember, a bard is not a hero on their own. They're there to assist the heroes. They stand with them. But at some point in every bard's life, they'll have to make a decision. Whether to stay or to go. Whether to save a life or allow it to be quenched forever in the flames of death. And at that moment, we will find out whether it is you whose songs will be sung of, or whether you will be relegated merely to singing them. <laughs> now turn to the second page of the syllabus. <laughs> <laughs> but turn to Rick Jacks, be like, you know what? 
Let's go. Let's throw Kaz back in there and just hop out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. Let's do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So seeing that it didn't attack Rick Jacks, I'm going to try walk nonchalantly. Okay. You walk in. Uh, you fly casually. Grab Runa, so that was what fifteen in, one. so I can move. So you had to go left there. one, two, three, four. So that's twenty. You can drag Runa. Um, one square, one space. Right there, yeah. Yes. Like just as lo along the wall, as far away from the armor as I can get. Yep. So here's the thing, you you're like in the process of dragging Runa, <laughs> when. The mannequin disassembles again and falls to the floor, and this thing just boots you in the face. <laughs> let's let's see how how it does, how it do. What's your AC looking like, Mortric? Oh. oh, a critical hit. Look, the first boot, you're ready for it. You get out of the way. But then you realize you bang up against the wall in your dodge, and you're holding Runa. There's no place to go. It does a wall slam with its foot. It gets its foot over its head and brings it down like Taekwondo style onto you. You just kicked your head off. Uh, look, <laughs> no, guys. It very well might, depending on what just, it is. That's a super low roll. Wow. You take five points of damage on a potential 14 point swing. Damn. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only had four hit points left. Rich. <laughs> 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 Mortric is inches away from being out of the room when you just hear a crunching noise as the armor boots him in the face and he goes down, his hand intertwined with Arunas. <laughs> it's your turn, Rick Jax. He's only right. gonna die with him. <laughs> this is this is it. It's so hard without you. All right, so is the, is the construct going back to reassemble since it's kicked his head off? It it hasn't had time to do any of that yet. All right. It so just got Mortric, done kicking Mortric. Yeah, is Mortric at the door enough that I can... Yes, you could move in, yeah. grab him, and pull Mortric out. Let's do that. All right. You do exactly that. You drag Mortric out on top of Kazdor's body. <laughs> that's good. Uh, so for you, that's one... Two, three, four, five. You still have five feet of movement left. I'm going to stay outside of the door because I'm going to have to try the same maneuver <laughs> next round. All right, Ortrick, I need you to make your death saving throw. Is there a button for that in here? Uh, I don't think so. You just type in. You just type in there. twenty. There, yep. No, there's a death saving throw. Okay. <laughs> you're, on the, you're on the first one. It's not great. It's not a good start. Uh, the construct turns and looks at you Rick Jax it's just observing you what do you do step off to the side so the head I'm... turns to follow you where is it where's my guy there you're all the way at the bottom so does it does it lose interest in me Are you're trying to <laughs> to break vision field with it yeah, I mean you can't I see am. it anymore so you have no idea if it's lost interest in you Spoiler, it doesn't have eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'll go in and try to stabilize more trick. Okay. Make your medicine roll. You're hopefully going to be really good at medicine checks soon. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right? I feel like he should pick it up as a snake, I should be right? getting my, yeah, I should be getting some good rolls now, but no. Uh, Runa, more trick. If you roll one here, you've expired, sir. Right. All right. I am pressing the button now. Oh, it's two fails out of three. One more fail and you've also expired. Come on. You seem way too important to die this early in the campaign, but it's the third episode, you know? You've had a lot of chances. So is Runa and Kazador stable, right? That's correct. Okay. The armor is now reassembling the mannequin around it. Okay, that's fine. So I'll try to save... Uh, more trick one more time. Very well. Nope. <laughs> it's a one. 
Does he kill me? Does he actually <laughs> kill me with that he medicine? He pushes so many bandages into you that you end up dying. <laughs> it soaks up all the blood, so I run out anyway. <laughs> this is it, Mortric. This is the end of your life. All you need to do is roll better than a, better than a nine. A ten or higher, and you will not die right here. I'm not asking for much, buddy. Just work with me. Oh, oh 11! You are now two and one. He clings to life. Here's the thing, Mortric. I, I know you may not have heard about this, but uh, occasionally you need to remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> uh, Rick Jacks, back to you. I have no idea what to do. I want to try. Keep trying to medicine him. He's still Come dying. Let me, look. let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. I'm going to inspect that door on the right hand side. Now the pit's still there, right? That's correct. Okay. Is the door open? Yep. Okay. And then I want to check the other door down at the bottom. I'm assuming okay. there was another pit there. Because there is the there the is the trap okay. is still active. Everyone's just been stepping over it because it's super obvious. Okay, so I'm going to go into the back of the room here. Yep. Make sure there's no traps, but open the door. Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to go here. Did it show up? Yep. And I want to I want to take a shot at it from with my bow from here. All right. So, uh, in order to make it that far, you'd have to dash. Uh, where do you want me to put... I'll, I'll wait till next turn, though. Where do okay. you want to put me, then? Uh, you, I mean, you can get that far. Uh, it's just you won't be able to take the shot at the end of your turn. Very good. Uh, so you run away, you run back. It seems to have lost interest in you and is reassembling itself. More trick. Okay. You didn't get that medicine you were hoping for. You still need to not roll a nine or less. And I've only got one success right now. If you... Wait, 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 wait. I'm. That sucks. I'm sorry. We were all laughing and stuff, and I thought he made his oh, save by one. No, no. If you wanna, if you wanna reverse everything and go back to not killing Mortric or not allowing Mortric to expire, we can do that. We can do Thank that. You very much. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, yeah. I already made that one. I already made that one. Yeah, he just didn't. That's okay. Awesome. Make your medicine check now. Let's see if we can bring him back. Oh. It looks. Looks it's good. good. Thank you. More trick. Roll a d4. Yep. All right. Two uh -huh. hours. Put me back in, coach. Buy up now? Uh, it's only been uh, less oh, than 30 no seconds. You have you have got an, over an hour left. Over an hour. I forgot. Rick Jacks. You want to try to shoot at this thing from afar? Yep. From yep. right here. Go I'm ahead. Start, start popping at it. Yep. Take a shot. Don't th do, don't roll any ones, okay? <laughs> We're still in the way. I'm shot. still in the room, my dude. <laughs> oh my god. Immediately roll a one. <laughs> Immediately roll a one. <laughs> You know, this game isn't fun anymore. I used to have fun playing this game. Your arrow <laughs> sails toward this thing. At the last second, right before it hits, it grabs it and snaps the arrow in half in front of you. Okay, I'll accept that. It moves forward and closes the door in front of you. You now have no idea what's happening with Runa and the thing inside. You can't see it anymore. It's your turn. Man, I had a good plan, too. I know, you're just going to sit back and farm it for a while. Well, I was going to farm it, and then if it was going to come out, I was going to run and jump across that pit, and maybe it would fall in the pit, but okay. Uh, I should have got my rug. Should have stuck with the rug plan. That rug plan was good. That's on me. Rick I Jax. just remembered the wrong lesson from school. And we don't know. I literally don't know what to do here. Now, am I am I able to do any actions that help them heal faster than the one or two or three hours? Uh, do you have any healing spells? You don't even have spells. No, I'm no. not spelled. I mean, you're. I mean, you're not a cleric. You're not yeah. a doctor. Uh, any potions. You don't have any potions. Like, there's no way to heal them faster. They just need some rest time. And this thing still won't come out the door. All right, well, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna open the door. All right, 
It's still standing there ominously, reassembling the mannequin around it. Is Runa close enough for me to try to attempt to grab her? Uh, yeah, if you want to just dash in there and try to pull Runa out, we'll make a dexterity roll to see which of you acts first. A dex roll? Okay. Yep. So I got dex 16. Well, you should be pretty good at this. And I rolled like that. I got 24. Okay. You get in there and you drag Runa out before this thing even notices. And then it like stops and reaches out to grab you and you're gone like the wind, slamming the door behind you. We fade to black and all that is left is the noise of Rick's jacks. <sighs> 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 And this is a great time to take our break. <laughs> All right. We didn't die. You are, you are not dead. We made it out of one room, guys. One room. <laughs> well, you only need to make it out of one room at a time. Oh my God. Thanks, Runa. <laughs> Opening that door. Uh, yeah. No, it's all good. Notice the, the, the nice dwarven craftsmanship, and you were all for it, my man. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just right on top of that. Not <sighs> thanks, Runa. Thanks, you. Hey, but you opened that door. I don't know. Yeah, you try to shift the blame like that. That's not right. <laughs> Guys, we'll be back in eight minutes for the second half. This time, I'm going to remember to put some music on. As a reminder to those watching at home or on YouTube, these people are all commissionable artists. You can find more information about them in the description section of the YouTube video and you can throw money at them very quickly and they will accept it probably. 